Hey everyone, welcome to another video. Today we're going to cover the PS Vita Emu installer. And this is a VPK pack that installs all these retro emulators onto your system. So that is pretty cool. And this is by the Hero GAC version 1.00 uh, released back in April 25th. So this is fairly recent and I want to take a look at all the different emulators that are installed with this pack. So I'll have a link in the description down below for you and it's fairly easy to install the VPK either through USB connection or FTP client. It's the same old uh, steps. Make sure to download it and throw it onto your Vita and go through Vita Shell and find that VPK and install it. So let's go ahead and start this app and see what we got going on here. It says press X to increase the power of your PS Vita. Alright, let's press X. Please wait three minutes. Press OK to continue. Let's press X. Okay, so I noticed that there is a little bar in the middle of the screen in the PS or the PlayStation logo there. I don't know if you guys can see that. So we will be back once there's a message that prompts up or anything like that. So here we have a system message. Extended permissions and personal info access required. Use caution with non-trusted source packages. Do you want to install at your own risk? Let's hit yes. Why not? That's why we're here, right? To install these emulators yeah I don't like this where I'm not seeing a loading bar so we're just gonna have to sit here and wait and I like to see a loading bar that way I know how much time is left or a percentage or something like that so we're just kind of left out in the dark here a little bit okay another system message your PS Vita will restart the VPK have been installed let's hit OK there is the reboot. Let's get in here and see what we got going on. Okay. We have one, two, three, four, five, and six different emulators that were successfully installed. So let's check out the first one here. And we have Final Burn. Nice. So portable Final Burn NED Neo. Mm -hmm. So at the bottom screen there, game zero out of 6045, it looks like it just scanned and now it went up to 1200. That is pretty cool. So it's scanning my folders to see where these ROMs are located. Very good. And let's take a look at the first one here. So we have 007 The Living Daylights, Euro. And this is System MSX developer and editor date genre I'm not sure if this is the GBA let me take a look here what it said so it said F B A hmm I'm not sure what that could be and let's just scroll down here and I can't use my trigger buttons to go down Using the left and right on the D-pad will take you down several lines. I don't know what, what these ROMs would be for, honestly. It just says at the top, Mega Drive. Oh, okay, so this is for the Mega Drive. Sega Mega Drive. Okay, so let's check out a game here. No preview. Why is there no preview? We have the main menu and ROM menu by pressing plus and minus. Main menu is going to be our select. So states, emulation, joypad. So here's our save states. Very cool. Our emulation. So you can change all the different settings there to fit your personal preference and joypad. And pressing the start button will take you to the UI options and default ROM options. Let's try the first X-Men here. Or this one. Press X to run. Add to favorites. Okay. And pressing X doesn't do me anything. How about circle? 
So I'm pressing X and nothing's really happening on any of these games. I'm not sure why. And these are working in RetroArch for me, so... I will have to test this emulator out a little bit further down the line here. So let's check out the next emulator and this one is the Final Burn Super Nintendo emulator. All those different colors, we have the same layout as the other emulator we were just looking at. So this is the Super Nintendo. So with the Final Burn emulators here, I'm not having any of the ROMs load up, so I will have to do a little bit more research and see why they're not working. Uh, let's just move on to the other emulators here. We have Vice Vita C64, and we have this one, Amiga emulator. Very good. Let's check out the Vice Vita. Nice. Wallpaper. And we have the ZX Vita emulator. These are more of those old school retro, like kind of the computer OG uh, gaming systems. And we have Scum VM. I'm not very familiar with those at all. But let's check out Vita Shell and see how our folders are all set up for these emulators. So let's go into our UXO and go into data. And here is our PFBA folder. And here's all of the ROMs that you can install your games in. This folder, all set up. Here is the Final Burn SNES. And I believe that the reason why they're not starting is because they are not in the correct folder. So I have to move those ROMs or the games into this folder and that way they'll begin to work. That is my theory. Here is Vice Vita and our games. Very good. Going back to app and scrolling down, we'll find the other emulators. Here's our UA for all data. And you'll have to place that ROMs folder into this location. That is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Any questions, please comment down below. And I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out a lot. And if you haven't already subscribed, please subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video in the future. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Take care, and I'll see you on the next one.